these questions people have been asking this particular question yeah this particular question that when you say vote wisely it becomes an offense to tinubu supporters when you say vote wisely or i don't know what that connotes to them once you say vote wisely it becomes a problem debo adeboye a well-known nigeria comedian and actor also known by his stage name mr macaroni has taken time to respond to some nigerians who have repeatedly attacked him for advising them to exercise wise judgment when casting their votes casting their ballots in the upcoming election he reminds them that he never requested their support for any particular candidate or political party everybody is free to love support and vote for any political party or candidate of their choice mr macaroni stated in a tweet he sent on his verified twitter account he went on to claim that he never once requested that anyone not supports any one candidate, only that they exercise good judgment while casting their ballots. He inquired why some people become upset when they vote wisely in his final tweets. When he said vote wisely, just like what we said, when you say vote wisely, their body go do they ah, what's he there inside? I don't even understand though. Yes, now they no say they know they do well now. They know only a left for the day. We need a four one shit at all. Who ask you? Nigerian electorate must take care to avoid making the same mistakes twice as the country's presidential election approaches next year. Nigeria must set tribe and religion aside and work to pick a reputable candidate as the nation's next leader. I have always said that everyone is free to love, support, and vote anybody you of your choice but the only thing is vote wisely but those that vote wisely is what rattles apc supporters when they say vote wisely it rattles them i don't know <laughs> they are angry with vote wisely because it's never a wise decision to vote for an ancestral candidate a well-known drug lord and boko haram leader um, well these attention seekers i beg find something to do with your lives because after the election and you your preferred candidates who cannot even when get defeated it will be nowhere near you or be able to get you out of the peace you are putting yourselves which peace is he putting yourself you where did the lagos now life now life you they live for this so i'll be just deceive yourself you're just trying to console yourself you are talking about somebody who has already who is not running after politicians politicians who is not begging money who is not agbero who who knows what he wants he's known worldwide he has made he has created a career for himself you think he say you think he's that he that he, they are doing all this so that they can give them something all of you who are supporting all this uh, apc and pdp you want to get something that is just what you want because what they are giving you serving you as breakfast that you are going through fuel they are telling you it's going to be 510 naira you are buying it 200 you can't even see it you are crying for insecurity even Lagos in Badon Expressway is a is a is a a a dead trap. Aguero day day where they wala your life day and day and night. Light so you no get. They tell you that a, a responsible government within six months will provide light. Eight years down they go, they never fit to provide the light. They tell you that a graduate who are non unemployed will be given five thousand naira. Who did they give? The only thing where they do now so that not now that they give her if there's any benefits or whatever they want to share. They will even select few individuals from the northern part of the country. They will give them the woman that they call herself humanitarian management or whatever and disaster that the position they put her. Sadiq Farouk. They will select few individuals from the north. They will put it and tell you that uh, the old Nigerians have been given or has been has benefited for all those their useless programs that do not go around. Yet you are telling us that uh, uh, somebody is should go and get a life. If Peter B does not win, does he take anything? If Peter B does not win, Macaroni as a person, if he pay, he pays uh, taxes for the fact that anybody wins, he will continue to pay his tax and he will continue to hammer on anybody that becomes president. So it is not a do or die affair. It is you people that are making it do or die affair. It is in your party that you have thuggery all over the place. You just want to get it by fire by force. So you are telling us that uh, Macaroni is among those people who are begging, who do not have have work in lagos is that what you are telling us that he will go and suffer really he will not suffer those who are saying obedience obedience uh, who are obedient they they are hard-working people they are not waiting for 
politicians to give them handouts. But all of you who are supporting them, you are giving, you are being given handouts. Now you are still in APCO. What are you enjoying? You are, you are still complaining. You go back and be complaining. Now, wow, this country gets a CBO. But you, you have been given opportunity for eight years. You have not been able to do anything. And the person you are supposed to say that is going to continue, that this suffering is going to continue, and you are not seeing anything about that. <laughs> You that you are saying that what will be the fate of uh, Mr. Macaroni, what will be your fate when you are old, sick, drug lock face, which is certain it will woefully fail? Well, that is it. Well, maybe you think that mother, brother Sinubu is his mate. Very soon he will look himself inside mirror and he will begin cry, not knowing that what's not making him cry. Cry for Bola Tinubu. See. If unless you are you are you are a, a you are worthless, if you are worthless, you now want to make a Tinubu your road model. At its old age, the is he is receiving a global. Maybe you don't know. He is receiving a global embarrassment, whether he wins or not. Global embarrassment is what he's getting. So you want to say that a uh, Tinubu, well, because of uh, the way you are. Your life is, and that is the way you people reason. You want to make that kind of person your role model because you people believe that everything is money. The money that you guys are not getting, uh, uh, people's sweat is what they are bouncing on. They are bragging on, on top. My friend, vote wisely. Consider your future and that of your children. Think of Nigeria and Nigerians. Once again, vote wisely. It's not an insult. It is an advice. Of course, it will pain them now because they know exactly what they are doing. They know what they are doing. We have to say it the way it is. It is those who are lawyer. See, Obi, if Obi wins today, and he, he can't they be like television with no clear with the talker. He go chop with the Nobody they lick anybody's uh, 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 feet or they they say yes sir, yes sir for waiting. Now, now you don't know if you have self words. You know you don't be following all these politicians blindly. You don't be following them blindly for what? Am I stupid? Don't I have what I need to do? I'll not be looking at them. Now, am I? Are you leaving my destiny or what? Why I, it doesn't mean I cannot even be some see it is just greed. If you have if you have need to, you are contented with you, you see maintain your integrity, but because of some of you are so greedy, you just want to grab, you don't even want to face your life. Then okay, ah, it they happen for there. Ah, even if I connect to this man, my life will better. You know, my life will better. That is just all what majority of you know. That's why you follow them blindly. Anything they do, yeah, I just want to follow them. Go for big bad thing. If you are from my town, you do anyhow. I throw you out. I don't get time. I don't get time to the worship people because you worship them. That is why you see that you feel that uh, there's nothing good that can come from you. Macaroni has made, has made, has made something for himself. He's not begging. He's not going to be queuing. We going to one politician has already carrying for fully. Uh, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. As as young as he is, as young as he is, he knows exactly what he wants. But some of you, maybe that is how. You have you have orchestrated your own life to be. Everybody cannot do the same thing. Vote wisely is what is now making you guys to be uncomfortable because you know that your this your works are not a are not a worth emulating. So guys, let's say your opinion and have your seat on this. Thank you.